SBR Videos is sponsored by Sports Cash System. Click on the link below for more information. Hello and welcome to World Sports Weekly. I'm your host, Natalie Rydstrom. Right now we're going to take a look at the World Cup qualifying match between Portugal and Israel. And joining us now for the first time is Bernardo Baltazar. He's one of the top tipsters from tipstersplace.com. He's been in the industry for quite some time and he'll be joining us for the soccer season, delivering us great value picks. Bernardo, welcome to the show. Hello, Natalie. Thank you for the invitation. Ah, more than welcome, more than welcome. Uh, now, before we start, I just have to ask you about uh, yourself, how you uh, got into the industry. Uh, tell, tell us, our viewers, about yourself, please. Well, uh, I started the business early 2004, and I specialized myself on Portuguese competitions, UEFA and FIFA Cups. And with some constant results appearing, I had the opportunity to work with uh, a well-known group of investors on sports betting. And last year, uh, I decided to to give everyone the opportunity to follow my tips, and this is where Tipsters Plays become part of my life. Okay, wonderful. Well, we're really pleased here at SBR to have you delivering picks. So let's see what you've got for us for this match. Uh, the match is Portugal, Portugal versus Israel from Group F. Uh, let's start with a look at the home team. They're currently sitting in second place, uh, one point below Russia. Out of the eight games they've played, they've won five, they've drawn two, and they've lost one, uh, which was an away game to Russia 1-0 back in October 2012. Uh, Israel is seated in third place with five points below Portugal with 12 points. Uh, they've won three, they've drawn three, and they've lost one one match, which was also to Russia, 4-0 at home back in September 2012. Now, looking at the odds, it's Portugal, who are the favourites, priced at 1.16 to win, whilst Israel can be had at 13, odds courtesy of Bet365. Now, bearing in mind the last time they met back in March, the score was 3-all. Why do you think that Portugal's odds are so low this time? Is it purely the home advantage? Mm, yes. Uh, no doubt that bookies are looking only for home advantage uh, and a possible 2-2 for the motivations too. Because Portugal need to win these two games uh, if they want to dream about the first place, hoping that Russia can lose at least two points against Luxembourg and Azerbaijan. And while Israel is almost unqualified, uh, only a win on Friday and then a loss from Portugal against Luxembourg could give them a second place, which chances, are, in my opinion, are reduced to less than 1%. So, uh, but we, sh we, should, we, should, we should take into attention that uh, a team with a coach by uh, like Ali Gutman uh, won't quit before the end of 90, 90 minutes, and, and they will fight as they already are saying to the press. Uh, also, the bookings uh, are not looking to to the Portugal team who, who, with some cautious because uh, Portugal won't count with the four regular players. Three of those guys. Uh, 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 that won't play against Israel were the same that scored the three goals uh, back in March. Uh, we are talking uh, for, uh, about Quintrão, Fabio Quintrão from Real Madrid, uh, Elder Postiga, and also Bruno Alves. And, and I believe that if bookies were looking to it, uh, the Portuguese the Portuguese all should be paying around one one point three, which could turn handicap markets a bit more interesting. So, uh, in this case, uh, I will see the, the defence of Portugal a, a bit more weak than usual and with, with some debut on, on, on the full backs, the, the right full back from Sporting and also the left back and, 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 and also looking that Nani and Ronaldo are two wings that don't help too much defending. Uh, we can see here uh, a goal from, from, from Israel. OK, you made some interesting points there. Now, looking at the draw, could you be tempted to make the draw, uh, you place a bet on the draw, considering as that was the outcome just seven months ago when they last met, and at odds of 7.5, that would give quite a nice return? Mm, yes, it's true. But uh, one thing is to see an Israel goal, but to draw, if being so juicy with an odd like seven, I can't recommend it, Natalie. Uh, even if uh, Israel scores an early goal, I see an attack with Nani, Cristiano Ronaldo and probably Hugo Almeida uh, turning it around easily. Uh, Portugal has much more quality than Israel and normally it is on hard moments that this team appear much, much stronger and, and efficient. If we go back to the qualification on Euro 2012, 
uh, Portugal near the end of qualification starts showing their value up in front. I remember, for example, a 5-3 against Iceland at home with two early goals from Nani and on playoff against Bosnia, they sent Bosnia home with a 6-2. I can say it will be equal on Friday, but we'll definitely see some goals. OK, so what are the tips you're looking at for this match? Well, like I said in the beginning, uh, we have high chances to see a goal from Israel. So I've looked into both teams to score market very closely. Uh, and at 2.4, it's definitely a good value. Uh, however, it won't be our official tip. Uh, our official tip on this game it will be also on goals market, but uh, on, on the line over 3.0 that is paying around 1.95 and that will be definitely our choice as we see Portugal easily scoring three goals on Friday and if Israel help us out our over will be easily beaten. Okay so you're going for the over three goals market and you prefer that over both teams to score priced at 2.5 which will probably yield a little sort of a slightly better return for your money there. Yes because I, I, I have more sure that more sure that Portugal scored three goals at least uh, then we will see an Israel goal. And, and that fact uh, is more important for us because we do a, 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 prote a protection here because if, if there are only three goals in the match, our, bet, our, our money is void. So, and by all, all, our, all, all our thoughts about this game, if we had to go on a correct score, I would say that 3-1 match perfectly our thoughts about this game. OK, I agree with you there. You're going for the over three goals. Bernardo from tipsersplace.com. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Natalie.